Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another YouTube video. My name is Logan Schneider, if you don't already know who I am. My name is Jamal. His name is Jamal. I'm here at Rush Skate Park and today, we got the box complete. I'm gonna get right into building it and I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about it. Got the whole complete right here. I'm gonna give you guys a little rundown. I've already done an unboxing, so I'm not really gonna do an unboxing. If you guys want me to go more in depth about the box complete, you guys can head over into the cards right now, and then in my unboxing video, I kind of went over and reviewed all the scooters. Well, not reviewed, but I went over the specs. Um, I can put the specs up of the 350 complete right now, and that shows all the different little things like weight and height of the bars and everything. Right now, I'm just gonna put the scooter together, and then I'm gonna give you guys an actual riding review of how it is riding the new Fusion Box deck, or complete, sorry. So I'm gonna build it with everything that comes straight out of the box. So I got my little baggie here with all the tools. All I'm gonna be needing is six millimeter Allen key. The clamps always come sideways when they come out of the box. I'm just gonna loosen this up and then I'm gonna align the back of the clamp with the slit in the bars. So I'm gonna align this up, tighten it a little bit just so it stays in place. And I got this, I'm gonna slide this on like so. I'm gonna bang it on, so I'm gonna stand up and bang it on. Now I will align the wheel with the crossbar of the bars. Then take my six millimeter Allen key, I'm gonna tighten the clamp bolts. And there we go, I put the scooter together. There's a little dial test for you guys. Got the boot right here. Nice and dialed. I'll give you guys the dial test. So I have these extra stickers. These two got brand new helmets, so I'm gonna give them some stickers. The ones that came with the complete. Red one. You want the red one? All right. You don't have any stickers on your helmet? Have the third one. You're welcome. You want me to pick the spot? I'll put it on for you. What's up, dude? How you doing? I saw your new video. You saw my new video? Which one? When you went to the park. Which one? Like the one where I was at the playground. Do you like the backflip that Hunter did? Oh, I watched that before I did. Let me actually get into some riding. I give you guys a drop test. What's even right here? We just sitting on the ramps. Is that right? Sitting on the ramps. Pretty sick bench. Let me jump over you. <laughs> I was hoping you were gonna hit me because you're recording it, and then I wouldn't have gotten a fat check. Oh yeah. <laughs> so far, first feel feels pretty nice. A lot of foot room. That's what I'm liking about it. Super comfy. Grinding's a lot more smooth. Oh Jesus. Oh, first seat. The, the street whole, on the park. The street on the park thing. Yeah. Because <laughs> I remember it's like, when I rode square, square decks okay. and bars. Okay, so shit. it's basically street, but there's park. All right, let's get that blunt. Oh, a little back of it, I guess. Front lip. Oh, there we go. Slide across. Double heel. line instead. Ah, I didn't lean forward. I put on my old grips. I have these and I'm gonna go up to the kid that has the worst grips and I'm gonna give it to him. I'm gonna look around. Let me see your grips. Do you want new grips? Sure. Here you Yo, go. Some brand new fusion grips. Holy on the bike. Thanks man. Yeah no problem bro. You gonna put those bad boys on? Oh I'm sorry that was like totally like my fault. <laughs> 
<laughs> I give him new grips and I throw my scooter out of him. Yeah, you hit him. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, shake the whole scooter. <laughs> yeah, but I hope I hope you like them because yeah. I know your grips are pretty worn out. Yeah. I was not expecting to land that. <laughs> Should I try the up row? Full send? <laughs> I jumped way too early. I thought I was going to clip. I can do one eight. Let's see it. Right here, I'll give you some space. Nice! Just up a little bit higher. Messed up. Oh, you put them on? Yeah, I did. How you like them? Amazing. I'm glad you like them. What size is that? 20.5 by five wide. What's your thoughts on this scooter? Looking pretty, actually. Fox Sam Fusion deck? Well, did, did the blue grips come with it? We don't know how to talk about the grips. <laughs> okay, because if, if you had like a maroon what? grips or something. Yeah, I do. Want to jump me? Want to jump sure. me? Sure. I'll jump you. How can you jump? Go up this. And jump. Trust me, I think he knows a little bit more than you. No, a lot. Where am I jumping you? No. I could probably jump you standing on bowl gap, but not on roller. You'd have to lay down. Yeah, then I'm not you can lay down right there. I'll jump you. Sketch? Then why'd you offer? You'll do it. Yeah. You'll do it. All right. Right there on the roller. <laughs> I was gonna grab, but then I decided to look at you instead. We made eye contact. What's your thoughts on this scooter? Clean? You like? One out of ten. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. One out of ten. Fifty-one. What? Eleven out of ten. Eleven out of ten. Eleven out of ten. Is this scooter eleven out of ten? Yeah. Twelve out of ten. All right. Let's go prank Eli. All right, Eli. Wait, 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 Come on, I'll land, I'll let me land it real quick. <laughs> hey, I'll land it. No, I'm gonna Get land out of here! Right. You're ruining the video! Did you give me the scooter? I'm gonna land it. Alright, unbox it. I really just got banged out my Yeah, I beat Carlos in a game of scoot, David. You just take this out. <laughs> <laughs> what? It really banged me out. Oh, bro, it's not even that bad. Yo! Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, 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 that's crazy. Are you hyped on your brand new fusion box? It's a new fusion complete in a box scooter. Box complete. <laughs> <laughs> the 
This looks like death. <laughs> Literally says boxed on it. <laughs> hey, the fitment though. The uh, fitment. The fitment, bro. Look at that tug. Bro. Look at that tug, bro. Look at that tug. <laughs> God, I hope I got that. You just died. Oh my God. <laughs> what did you think when your foot is stuck inside the box? No, my foot wasn't that stuck that much. That's why I thought I could do it. <laughs> Does that count? Yeah? yeah? Okay. The only reason I stopped was because it was muddy. I would have kept riding. So, it counts. I'm gonna give my final thoughts on the scooter now. I'll switch to the big can. I ended the video at Rush. As you guys know in the video, I gave the grips away. That kid had like no grip, so I'm glad I did that for him. And personally, I just don't like thick grips. I already went over it, so I don't have to go much into detail on that. But let's start at the top with the bars. T-bars feel really nice. I really like the height and width. It suits me stock very well. And I'm like 5'9", five, 5'10". Five, if you're shorter, you can just cut them. And if you're taller, it'll probably still be pretty good height for you. And if not, you could always just Go get yourself some aftermarket bars if they're not tall enough. Going down to the clamp, there's nothing really much to say except for that it did keep my bar tight the whole time. You know, you don't really ride the clamp. <laughs> there's not, not much of a thought about that except for it kept my bars in place and never slipped out. It did its job and very well. I really like the design of the clamp and I like the hole in the front just for that little bit of weight that it takes out. It doesn't really mess with the structure or strength of the clamp itself and then the headset headset was really smooth the whole time it felt great i really liked how smooth it was i didn't have any problems with it the headset first ride felt great going down to the fork again you don't really ride the fork pretty strong and it looks uh, going down to the wheels these things i don't think i gave enough credit while i was riding because i was more focused on the actual scooter itself and not how smooth it was i think with the 350 box it is so quiet i don't know if like that makes sense but when I ride, I don't hear the scooter. I land and it's just like, Phew. like it's really weird. It's like an electric car. Uh, this is like the electric car of scooter. Wheels wise, the design is sick and the they're light because they're hollow cores. And then the wheels, I love the PU of Fusion wheels. They're honestly my favorite. They don't dehub and they're really grippy, which is a weird combination. Normally, if they don't dehub, they're slippery. And if they do dehub, then they're grippy. A combination of both of those is amazing. So even if you aren't getting a complete scooter from Fusion, I would really look into getting Fusion wheels. I think they're looked over a lot more than they should be. I'm currently riding the Ace wheels on my current setup. I have a tendency to break wheels a lot, not just D-Hub, but like the core, like from Impact. And I've had no problems with the Ace wheels and I've had them for months. I got these tilt wheels, broke them in two days. Not dehubbed. I literally like bent in the core like halfway. It was crazy. If I can find that picture, I'll put it up right now. It's just a crazy look and it became wobbly. It bent sideways. It was all that. So I have a tendency to do that kind of thing to wheels that aren't the strongest. So fusion wheels, looked over a lot, get them. I promise you, you won't have problems with them. These ones come in 110. And then going on to the main part of the scooter, the deck. It felt great. There's a nice amount of concave on it, and the head tube is similar or exact same as the park deck, or the non-box, sorry. Then on the bottom, we got that cutout, which saves the weight, feels great, and the main part of the deck, the box ends. 
Going over the box stand, I did notice when I was grinding the length of the deck, just how it's a little bit structured differently. Board slides for days. Honestly, I'm very uncomfortable with any type of rail and I was hitting the rail regularly when I was riding by it and no problem. Like I was just grinding down it. Wasn't scary, wasn't bad, wasn't messing up and I was getting on top, grinding down. I think this deck will help me progress a lot with the aspect of riding that I don't look at a lot, which is grinds and rails. Coping grinds, let's get into that. Coping grinds felt great, they glided. I felt a little bit more balanced on lip slides. The break I did notice is, I'm not sure, but it looks like they're a bit bigger so they fit 120s now. Don't quote me on that. Cause these are some 110s and there's a bunch of extra space. So I don't know if I put some if I put some 120s on it, if it would rub. And honestly with the plastic nylon, you can just bend it up if you don't. That's what I did with my old brakes. I would just bend it up a little bit, it would be fine. Go get yourself one of these scooters at trinityprosscooters.com and that'll be it for the video today, guys. Till the next time, see you guys, bye-bye.